and assigned within your course in Schoology. Thinking back to the introduction to Schoology module, you already have experience in completing and submitting an assignment when you had to up your profile. Assignments are a great way to give your learners or your targeted audience a specific task. You may wish your assignment to include directions. You may want to add materials such as links and images. And you may want to include instructions on how to submit your assignment. Here is an example of an assignment in which that I want my learners to complete. You will notice that I have included a hyperlink for a study guide, but I have also included um, that link below. And you will also notice that I have included um, two of the same images. One of these images I have embedded within the assignment. The other image I have um, included as an attachment. So we will go over how to include both of those within our assignment. The first thing that we are going to do is click on courses or from your course dashboard. Please click on the course and create a new one. For the purpose of this task and the other tasks that we will be completing in module two, we will go ahead and add another folder underneath your folders or to the, the decision that you have already completed within your course. There are one of two ways that I can add another folder. From the center navigation panel, I can go ahead and click add materials or I can simply take my cursor and hover underneath the folder that I already have and you will see a green plus button. If I click on that, I can go ahead and add a folder from there as well. All right, and for the purpose of this um, assignment and just creating this folder, I am going to name it as you are. Schoology training practice items. And again, we will house all of our tasks module two here. I am not going to assign a beginning date or an end date, and I will leave the availability as published and click create. My folder create and from materials. And I will choose the icon for adding an assignment. You are going to want to name your assignment something specific and relevant to what you teach or what your um, job role is. I am going to label mine practice materials. You will notice that the assignment also has a toolbar, which is very similar to what you would see in Microsoft Word or Google Docs. You're probably already familiar with some of these formatting tools, but you have um, bold, italic, underline. You were able to create a bullet list or a number list. You can format the text by adding color. You can add a background color or highlight. Some other formatting options. You are able to indent if you are writing paragraphs. You can align the text. We'll be looking at links and inserting content. You are able to also include a table spell check, paragraph, and of course you can resize as text. So I am going to begin. I 
am going to insert um, the study guide as a hyperlink. I have already previously visited the website and I have copied the URL address. So I am going to highlight and I come up here in my tools at the top and I am going to paste my URL link here. Once I have typed study guide, I am now going to add that as a hyperlink. I have previously visited the website and have copied the URL address. So what I will do, I'll highlight the word study guide and I appear here to link and where it says link URL address, I am going to paste that website and click insert. You will notice that the text color does change and whomever is viewing it is able to click on it and it will be taken to that um, resource, that website, that material. I can also take that same URL address or that same link and I can attach it using tools below. So I'm going to click on link. Here I am able to embed if you are using um, a particular video and you have an embed code. I'm just going to paste the link and add a title and attach it. So now my link is not a hyperlink I have as an attachment. We are now going to look at insert content and I am going to insert or embed an image direct to my assignment. I am going to upload media from my and you will notice that my image is now inside of my assignment. If I click on it, I can use a button so, um, on the corners to click on I'll take that image and instead of in, that in the assignment, I can also add it as an attachment in the tools below. So I will go on. I same file and again it is now an um, attachment to my assignment. There are other types of um, content that you are able to insert and we will go over this in another tutorial video but um, for my math teachers you are able to insert symbols, equation, and um, this latex right here as well. All right, continuing on, you are able to um, give your assignment a due date. If you want it to begin on a certain date and close on a certain date, you can insert that there using the calendar function. You can assign it points. Your categories, um, they will be default and set by the division. So whatever you have available to you at this time, you may go ahead and click on. We will choose, we'll not choose, but keep our periods professional development. For factor and um, sync, you're going to leave factor as is and uncheck the sync to sys button. We will be talking about that in a, another module when we review gradebook and gradebook setup. But for right now, we will check the sync to sys. We have several different options when it comes to grading. We are able to use numeric, you give it a check, check plus. 
Uh, we can also create a rubric and that will also be in a, another tutorial video. So I will leave numeric as is. Schoology has done a great job um, of adding learning objectives um, to the course. You are able to go to state standards, click on Virginia and standards of learning. And if you look, you can go ahead and insert the standards of learning as it relates to your assignment there. There are some other options for you to be able. You can individually assign this task if you wish to not um, give to your entire class. If you have a small group of students, you can click here and in their names. You are able to lock the assignment. Submissions enabled means you are allowing submissions. You can go in and disable it as well. You can publish to students, get great statistics, and here for comments, you are able to enable or disable if you choose to have um, your learners or audience members add comments, you want to keep that enabled and um, of course you can turn it off. If this is an assignment that you wish to use across the different course that you have, you can also copy to your courses. And once you do, you will see a checklist of different courses. You can click on there and your assignment will be copied to that course. I'm gonna go ahead and click Create. And here I materials. Link versus my attached link. I have my embedded photo versus my attached photo or image.